what's up everyone? Welcome back to an episode of the Venom Vlog and today we're going to take a look at the Stunt Squad figures. I'm going to do a little unboxing here and then I'll do some cutaway footage of the toys themselves and then I'll you know pull them out and show them off here too. So you'll try to, I'll try to get a couple different angles for you but this is obviously a kid's toy. It's for four plus and it's just one of those things where I'm like you know I just like that. Like, like having Spider-Man leap and all that that's cool. It's a fun feature for kids for sure but just having something like this on my desk would be awesome. <laughs> and there are another, there is another set with Venom in it. We talked about in the Mo Merch episode, uh, the symbiote sighting episode, where there's a Miles and a Spider-Man in an alternate costume versus Venom on a even bigger type throne with a Venom, you know, chest piece thing. So it be, kind of becomes super Venom. So yeah, this is just neat. And I love that this little throne back here has eyes on it. So it's just like an extension of the symbiote. I just thought it looked cool. And I think hopefully it, the final product looks cool. Uh, Cause like I said, I definitely want to you know, put this on my desk and uh, and have it around. So we're gonna open this real quick. We're gonna unbox this. This retails for um, $10.99, I believe. So when you take it out of the box, it's this is how small it is. So this is how much space that eats up the box. Like this is how much there is nothing. <laughs> so they're not that big. You know, they're, they're very little, these guys. So first up, we got the characters. We got Venom and we got Spider-Man. Looking really cool. These are some great poses. Uh, they are completely rubber, so you can kind of bend them as you can see here, they bend up pretty good. Um, you can squeeze the arms in, you know, have them slash Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man. Oh. So we got some stickers that come with it, obviously, that will attach onto everything. Most of them go onto this, which is the launcher for Spider-Man. So you'll pull this back and launch it, and it launches Spider-Man out at you. I can't launch it here because then Ace will think I threw a treat, and he'll go after it. So yes, so there's a cool launcher. You put the stickers on. Got the first two stickers on here on each side. So those look good. And then we got another big sticker that's gonna go up here. And then I think another tiny one that goes up there. All right, so I was right about this sticker. It does go on the front, but nothing goes up here. The other sticker goes on the base for Venom's Throne. Venom's Throne comes in multiple pieces here. We got four pieces. We got these three. And then we got a base first up, boom. So that way you make an L shape right there. Then these two pieces go together so that you can make the little mound, but it does not connect onto the back piece. But as you can see there, that's where the sticker goes. So let's pop that on real quick. I don't know why that last sticker was the most difficult. It's not easy to line up for some reason. So I did the best I could, but so there you go. You have the little mound that Venom will sit on. Boom. So that he's the king in black. And then if you hold those together, you can put the back there. And I thought the eyes were white, but they're not. That's just how they are displayed on the box art. Um, but that's okay. It still looks really cool. I love the face in the symbiote. It looks really, really neat. You know, 1099 feels a little steep for this. You know, I feel like, uh, I don't know if it's, it's kind of that price point, but I guess if you're, I guess, valuing each of the characters, the figures, if you're valuing them at like $3 or $4 a pop, and then the plastic used for the base and the launcher and stuff, you know, maybe that's the appropriate price for the cost of this thing. I have no idea. <laughs> I just feel like I I knew they were going to be small, but man, they, they really, they really are. They're like a, an inch and a half, two inches tall, but uh, still cool. Like I said, good for desk ornaments, or if you have a kid who is getting into Marvel comics and you want to have some fun, it's almost like a playing the, you know, when you have the paper football and you're launching it at each other, you could have someone hanging out as Venom sitting on his throne or his mound or whatever it is with the symbiote behind him and you could launch spider-man at him and you're trying to knock him over so if you knock him off his throne his throne could split in half and the background can fall over um especially if you just hit spider-man into the background like if spider-man comes and just hits this this will pop up underneath the mound and split it in half and then launch venom into the air so that's pretty much the the target that's what you want to do this kind of stuff is just cool to bring in that audience like you know for kids who see a spider-man cartoon and they like marvel adventures or something like that or spider-man is amazing friends and they see something like that and they go hey you know i i like that guy i like venom and it's cool to have stuff out there for those characters for that reason because i know sometimes collectors are like why do they make stuff like this why do they do that and it's like yeah it's not really for us like i'm definitely gonna put this on my desk it's cool cool looking for that uh but you know for kids though that's that's who this is for so that they become fans like we are, you know, so they grow up with Venom. And that's why, you know, that Venom movie was such a success. 
it was then that's why it was rated PG-13. Like they they knew what they were doing to bring in an audience. They knew Venom was a household name, and uh, with merchandise like this, like not every character gets this kind of treatment. So it's really cool that it's out there. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below, and we'll keep talking down there as always. Thanks so much for watching my show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.